In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Entrance Antiphon. The Lord heard and had mercy on me. The Lord became my helper. Preparing ourselves in the season of Lent, remembering our fasting, prayer, and almsgiving, we offer ourselves to our Lord Jesus Christ. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Show gracious favor, O Lord, we pray, to the works of penance we have begun, that we may have strength to accomplish with sincerity the bodily observance we undertake. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord God, cry out full-throated and unsparingly, lift up your voice like a trumpet blast. Tell my people their wickedness and the house of Jacob their sins. They seek me day after day and desire to know my ways like a nation that has done what is just and not abandoned the law of their God. They ask me to declare what is due them pleased to gain access to God. Why do we fast and you do not see it, afflict ourselves and you take no note of it? Lo, on your fast day you carry out your own pursuits and drive all your laborers. Yes, your fast ends in quarreling and fighting, striking with wicked claw. Would that today you might fast so as to make your voice heard on high. Is this the manner of fasting I wish of keeping a day of penance, that a man bow his head like a reed and lie in sackcloth and ashes? Do you call this a fast, a day acceptable to the Lord? This, rather, is the fasting that I wish, releasing those bound unjustly, untying the thongs of the yoke, setting free the oppressed, breaking every yoke, sharing your bread with the hungry, sheltering the oppressed and the homeless, Clothe in the naked when you see them and not turn your back on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn and your wound shall be quickly healed. Your vindication shall go before you and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help. And he will say, here I am. The word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. A heart contrite and humbled, O oh God, you will not spurn. Have mercy on me, O oh God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt and of my sin, cleanse me. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. For well, you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O oh God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humbled, O oh God, you will not spurn. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Seek good and not evil, so that you may live, and the Lord will be with you. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. King of endless glory, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. O Lord be in our minds, be on our lips, and in our hearts. The disciples of John approached Jesus and said, Why do we and the Pharisees fast much, but your disciples do not fast. Jesus answered them, Can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. The Gospel of the Lord. These first three days before the first Sunday of Lent are, are very interesting. There are days where we have things proclaimed like the gospel today, a small reflection of an event that happened in Jesus' life where he was challenged that his disciples were not fasting. But then so clearly he stated there would come the time when not only it would be appropriate, when we, his disciples, would indeed fast. On Ash Wednesday we heard, now is the appropriate time. Now is the time of fasting. These, uh, these things piggyback on each other, ensuring us of the necessity of the properness of the season that we go into. I love the part of Lent where we literally hide ourselves in the wounds of Christ. We hide ourselves in Christ himself. Jesus says that he doesn't want sacrifices that are empty like burnt offerings, but rather a contrite, humble heart. As we go into this Friday where we begin part of the, the fasting we do together as a worldwide church of disciples of Jesus, where we abstain from meat on these Fridays in a special way, may it, may it be one thing, especially to all of us, that it unites us into the heart of the Lord, that we give ourselves literally into 
Jesus himself. That we put ourselves in his care. That we put all that what we do, that our whole Lenten sacrifice would be the way we pray at Mass through him, with him, and in him. It's only there when we do that that the meaning comes through of what we heard today in our reading. That our light will shine before all because through him, with him, and in him, things like working for justice, feeding the poor, those things will be the result of being one with Jesus. And those are the other parts of, of Lent, aren't they? The parts where we do the almsgiving, where we give to the poor, where we work for justice, where we take care of the widow, where we care for the sick or those in prison. It's there that we know the Savior and see the fruit that he is near us. It is there that we live with the Savior. It is there that we live with him. Lord Jesus, bless our Lent. Hide us and all we do for you in your sacred heart. Make us one with you and your mission God will answer us when we call in confidence. We pray, have mercy, God, in your kindness. That the disciples of Jesus may reveal to the world the fast that God desires. That civil leaders may attend to the needs of the poorest of their people. We pray. that families broken by anger or misunderstanding may not hide themselves from one another, but be reconciled in Jesus. That the Lenten fast may shatter the yokes of poverty, hunger, and homelessness, we pray. That the care of God's people may bring hope and comfort to the sick, we pray. That in this time of fasting, we may shine more brightly as beacons of God's glory, we pray. That the dead may hear God's voice calling them on high, we pray. for real relief for those in greatest need, especially those sheltering from the cold or storms, those who need to find work, those who are worried for their families, we pray. Hear our cry, O God of the poor, and give us an offering pleasing to you a sacrifice of justice, a spirit of repentance. In your mercy, renew in us the fast you have chosen, that our light may break forth like the dawn, revealing your glory to all the world. We ask this in Jesus' name. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, 
For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mingling of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself when he shared in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. We have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with these gifts we offer you in sacrifice with humble and with contrite hearts. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sins. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer, O Lord, the sacrifice of our Lenten observance praying that it may make our intentions acceptable to you and add to our powers of self-restraint. Through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us to imitate you in kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we proclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. 
together with Francis, our Pope, Walter Hurley, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Martyrs, and all our patron saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we have the privilege to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be free from... <clears throat> that by the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death and resurrection brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free us from all our sins and from every evil. Unite us to your sacred heart. For Jesus, we believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. We love you above all things, and together we desire to receive you in our souls. Those who may not at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into our hearts. For we all embrace you as if you were already there and have united ourselves wholly to you. Never let us be separated from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life with him. The body of Christ.
Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that through partaking of this mystery, we may be cleansed of all our misdeeds and so be suited for the remedies of your compassion. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. For your mighty deeds, O God of mercy, may your people offer endless thanks. And by observing the age-old disciplines of Lent along their pilgrim journey, may they merit to come and behold you forever and ever. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go and serve the Lord with your lives. We'll move right into adoration. There'll be stations at 1030. Jesus, we adore you who in your love divine conceal your mighty Godhead in forms of bread and wine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. 